five entry level management information jobs that you can land after completing your management information systems degree. That is the topic of today's video, guys. And I wanted to make this video because many of you have been asking for it. So here it is. But before we get to the video, I am Antoine Wade and I run the Black Heights channel where we talk about tech careers, education, and ways that you can achieve success in life. And if you appreciate me making this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, because 85% of you who watch this channel have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever I drop new content. And in today's video, I will be touching on what management information systems is for all of you who aren't familiar with the degree program. Then I'll jump to the five entry level jobs that you should look at after you have graduated from an MIS program. So let's jump right to it. So what is management information systems? Well, management information systems, also known as MIS, also known as BIS, also known as Information Technology Management, or ITM, is simply the study of people, technology, organizations, and the relationships between them. And management information systems professionals helps organizations realize benefit from investment into personnel, equipment, as well as business processes. And management information systems is a people-oriented field with emphasis on delivering services through the use of technology. So MIS students learn to use computer databases to build data-driven reports, allowing organizations to evaluate the effectiveness of their employees, their teams, the departments, and other initiatives to help the organization make better decisions about the business strategy, business operations, or anything else that needs to be quantified. And I graduated with a degree in management information systems back in 2005. And I can tell you this, guys, this is a well-respected major because it combines business and technology. And this major is also a major that will earn you over $150,000 within your career if you take the right career path. Now let's talk about five entry level jobs that you should consider if you graduate with a management information systems degree. And we will start with number five and work our way down to number one. Number five is an inside sales role, which includes a role of a sales development rep, an SDR, or business development rep, a BDR. And a SDR is an inside sales role that focuses solely on outbound prospecting with the goal of generating sales pipeline for the rest of the team. And the role is generally seen as an entry level position, which doesn't require years of experience and is widely believed to be a good way to get started into technology sales. Now, if you are interested in sales, then I have a great offer for you. Check out Course Careers. It is a wonderful course that you can take that will help you stand out amongst your competition to land a job as an SDR or a BDR. Why? Because it will give you all of the required skills to do the job on day one. Check out the link in the description and I will pin a comment to the top of the comment section in this video. Now let's talk about the average salary of an SDR. The average salary of an SDR BDR is 55,000 USD a year. Number four on my list is that of a systems analyst. And a systems analyst is an information technology professional who specializes in analyzing, designing, and implementing information systems. System analysts assess the suitability of information systems in terms of their intended outcomes, and they liaise and collaborate with end users, software vendors, and programmers in order to achieve the designated outcomes. A system analyst is a person who uses analysis and design techniques to solve business problems using information technology. And system analysts may serve as change agents who identify the 
organization improvements needed. They design systems to implement those changes and then train and motivate others to use those systems. And the average salary for a system analyst is about $64,000 a year. Number three on my list is that of a data analyst. And a data analyst is a person whose job is to gather and interpret data in order to solve specific problems. The role includes plenty of time spent with data, but also communicating the findings of what that data means to the organization. And the typical day-to-day -day of a data analyst may include gathering data, cleaning data, modeling data, interpreting data, and then presenting that data to the stakeholders who are asking for it. And one way that you can become a data analyst is to complete the Google Analyst Professional Certification. This is an eight course program that is rated a 4.8 out of five. And I've partnered with Google to provide this to my professional Patreon members. So if you are interested, join the Patreon and you can tap in with myself and others who are taking this course and learn from them as well. And the average salary for a data analyst is about $64,000 a year. Number two is that of a systems administrator. And a systems administrator or system admin is a person who's responsible for configuration and the reliability operations of computer systems. And the system administrator seeks to ensure that the uptime, the performance, the resources, and the security of the computers he or she manages meet the needs of the users without exceeding budgets. And to meet these needs, a system administrator may acquire, install, or upgrade computer components and software. And they also provide routine automation. They may maintain security policies and troubleshoot, train, or supervise staff, or offer technical support for specific projects. Now, you don't need a degree to become a systems admin, but you will need a degree to apply for additional roles on top of a system administrator role. And the average salary for a system admin is about $60,000 a year. My number one is that of a computer programmer. The computer programmers are tech professionals who write code that bring software and apps to life. And they use a variety of programming languages and tests for errors to make sure that everything they code functions properly. And in this context, you can think of a computer programmer as a construction worker bringing different specialties to build a house. And my first job out of college was that of a software engineer, also known as a computer programmer. And it was great experience for me to gain the confidence that I needed to learn something difficult as coding. And I really think that this really helped me to create that strong technical foundation, which allowed me to transform into other roles that were even non-technical, but still have that ability to problem solve and think like a technical person. And if you were to go this direction, the average salary for a computer programmer is around $66,000 a year. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment on any of these roles that I've talked about in this video. Also, if you like this content, do me another favor and make sure you hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel yet, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be alerted when I drop new content. And guys, stick around to watch the additional videos. And until next time, peace.